all right so this video is where i'm going to be showing you how you yourself can start creating multiple gmail account without having to impute a phone number so if you've been wanting to learn how to create multiple gmail account either for a thing or maybe you want to just do that all right i'm going to show you how you yourself or by yourself i mean directly from your mobile device or from your computer you can start creating multiple gmail account without having to impute a phone number all right so there's something i want you to note if you want to create book email address basically you can create book email address at once you have to create them one after the other right so creating them one after the other is what would make you at the end of the day have book gmail account so basically there are countless of videos here on youtube that teaches such things about how you yourself can create book emails and all like that and i tell you that most of them don't just you know do fine so in this video i'm going to be creating a new gmail account without having to impute a phone number so me myself i want to try this out and see if this works or not so i encourage you follow me up and let's discover ourselves if this truly works and if we can successfully create a gmail account without having to impute phone number so firstly, I won't be making use of my default browser, which is Chrome. And the reason is because my Chrome browser has been used to create a lot of emails over the past years. And this might be one of the reasons why Google will need me to provide a phone number for verification. And this is to help prevent unwanted activities. So I understand Google's intention. All right. So I'm going to be making use of my other browser, which is the Microsoft Edge browser. Okay. And, and because Microsoft is not owned by Google, I guess. And I don't think this would really, really help me create a new email address without using a phone number. But let's find out and let's see if this Work. so i'll go ahead and open up a private mode window right here and i'll just type in gmail.com so this is the official um you know gmail account um gmail link okay gmail.com on the search bar right here and i'm going to click on search and here you can see what we have on the page so basically what i'm going to do right now i'm going to click on create an account down here and i'm going to choose my for my personal use because this is the main reason why i'm creating this account for my personal use all right so this is basically going on smoothly so what i need to do right now i'm just going to impute a random first name and um, also i'm going to um, impute a random last name okay so this is basically going out fine so let's see if uh, at the end of everything we will be able to create a gmail account without having to impute a phone number okay um so concerning the name here guys this actually don't have to be random for you you can choose to use your real name if you want to okay then i'm going to click on next okay so for right here we have to impute a date of birth a month and a day and a year okay and also we, we have to put a gender so i'm going to do that right now i'm going to just um you know fixing the date of birth for me i'm going to put in the month here and i'm also going to choose the year so all of these things are what you also want to impute okay and for the gender i'll go ahead and click on male because i'm a guy so if you're a lady you can go ahead and click on a woman so that is what you are you're a female all right so um what i'm going to do next is i'm going to click on next okay and here we need to have a username for this gmail account so this is actually going out fine okay so i'm going to try something right here i'm going to put in james and not two okay james and not all two is what i'm going to be making use of right here okay so i'm going to click on oh this is actually taken already so let's try something else um let's try james and not 905 and let's see what happens oh okay so this is also taken okay so i'm just going to add uh, add something to this okay let's try this one right here okay boom so this is actually ours so no one has taken this username so i think this is the username we are going to be making use of for this gmail account so if you basically encounter problems like this okay you just have to keep on trying um you know to find the right username for yourself and this is because somebody out there has used the um same username that you want to make use of so you just have to tweak it and make it look unique special and different from the ones that people have been using right but most times she might just be so lucky enough to get it at your first time so the first username you might impute might be the um oh you might be the only one making use of it so that's that's gonna be your luck right okay so i'm going to impute my password okay and i'll confirm the password again and um, i'm going to click on next i just pray i remember this password okay so this is it yeah okay so basically to add a recovery email you can see that this is going our work we can basically skip this or we can basically add okay so this is all left to you right now but i know majority of you watching this video do want to to add up things like this so you can basically go ahead and skip it but for for you who, who basically want to add in a recovery email you can go ahead and do that okay it would actually strengthen your account and keep um you know maybe scammers or spammers away from that account um, so you see this method is basically working all right you can see that if you want to add a recovery email you can go ahead and do that okay so for me i'm going to go ahead and skip this okay so um we are not asked for any phone contact whatsoever only email and that's good thing. So you can see that we were not even asked for a phone contact so the problem right here is that if you're making use of google chrome okay so google chrome um google everything that's to do with google basically has to go through a lot of verification trial and um i'm suspecting one of the reasons why you know many of us might try making use of google chrome to create um you know bug emails that that would actually need 
um, you know, emails or need phone numbers is because Google is basically monitoring all those activities. So if you're basically by cutting that, making use of a different browser and you're actually hiding a lot of information about you, you should be able to create your own email address, okay, without having to use any phone number, okay? All right, so you can see right here we need to review and newly created Gmail account. So I'm going to click on next and I'm, I want you to pay attention to this. Okay, this is something you need to pay close attention to. Okay, so and this is the trick I want you to apply as well to make sure you don't lose your Gmail account when you start using it because I've seen a lot of people who create um, Gmail account and you know, unfortunately, they get to um, lose the account maybe due to some issues. Whereas I don't know, but if you're making sure you don't want to lose your account, then this is something you need to pay close attention to, right? Um, okay, so I need you to check this mark. Here. I need to check mark this box here that says send me occasional reminders about the settings. So the reason why you are doing this is because you're trying to make Google note, okay, that you are making use of this account for legit reasons. So once you give them permission to do this, they are just going to be updating you, seeing you as somebody who owns what a Gmail account with them. So these are the things you need to pay close attention to. You just want to create. You don't want to create an email account, all right, and just let it be anyhow, all right. Google might actually start detecting some things about it, and you know, you might just lose the account. So please make sure you check mark this, okay? So make Google feel you are creating a trustworthy Gmail account with them. So for me, I'll go ahead and click on I agree. And yes, you can see our new Gmail account has been created, no restrictions, and everything seems to be working perfectly fine. So I'm gonna try sending um an email to my own personal email address and let's see if this goes out well okay or we have a dormant email address okay so don't get fooled by google right so i'll click on compose and i'll impute um my receiving email address here i'll impute my subject text here and for the message um i think i'll just type in something random right here okay so good this is good so i'm gonna click on send and um yeah you can see guys it went through so you can see that our email address can also be used to send out emails and also receive emails too so let me quickly um go ahead to my other email address and see if this message was gotten yeah you can see we got the message and um, everything looks perfectly fine everything looking good nice and sweet so you want to repeat the same process to create as many gmail account you want for yourself so this is the same trick you need to use when you want to create multiple gmail accounts so start with one okay now you just have to keep on repeating the process every time when you need a new email address that don't require you imputing a phone a number so i hope this video was helpful in one way or the other if you found value please smash the like button and also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this and do well to check out my other videos here on my youtube channel where i talk about things about email extraction lead generation and all like that i am promising you you're going to find something that would help you give you more information about how to do certain things online so thank you so much guys for watching and let me see you in my other video please take care of yourself and bye